guys you are welcome back to my channel this week ng if you have not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscription button below and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that each time i drop any video you get the update bolat ahmed tinubu the best governor nigeria ever had these are the exact words of reno mokri reno has come out to say that bolat ahmed tinubu the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress is actually the best governor Nigeria ever had. Reno, who is a former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, and he is also campaigning for Atiku, who is the presidential candidate of the PDP. He went on to say that he is a good manager and he has managed Lagos State very well. He built infrastructures during his time. Reno has been a strong critic to Tinubu, whom he has mocked for being old. To be the president of the country. But what has really changed? Tinobu's age doesn't matter to Reno Omokri again. Guys, sit back and watch and hear for yourself what Reno is saying about Tinobu. Thank you. In my column last week, I did a piece on Bola Tinobu and um, his spokesman, or rather, his, uh, the former commissioner of information in Lagos and um, also his chief press secretary responded to me. Now, I'm going to respond to him, you know, subsequently. But the reason I'm doing this video is Bola Tinubu's people and his supporters, they seem to be having the wrong idea. I'm not against Bola Tinubu because of performance. In terms of performance, I'm going to check a lot of people. I think that Bola Tinubu is the best governor Nigeria has ever had. He's a very, very good manager of men and resources. Face it, I mean, I see a lot of people, uh, Peter Obi's supporters saying Peter Obi, Peter Obi. In terms of performance, you cannot compare Peter Obi with Bola Tinubu. Bola Tinubu was an excellent performer. He managed Lagos well, he governed Lagos well. You know, he built roads, he was able to introduce a lot of uh, features into government. For instance, he widened the task, uh, uh, the, sorry, not the task, he widened the tax bracket. And I was able to increase Lagos's revenue from, I think uh, it was something like maybe 60 billion Naira uh, per annum. He increased it to about 400 billion. And then Fashola took it higher. You know, and then you know if you saw what he was able, able to do. You know, in terms of uh, building a structure, he was able to put his men in various places. Like he put Ralph Arabe Shola as governor of Oshun State. I mean, he's put uh, Raji Fashola and subsequently Ambode, and then now Salma Olu. You know, he was able to put his men in different places. However, this man is a known drug baron. He can't deny it. He's a known drug baron. He can't deny it. Bola Tinubu is a known drug baron, and if you read. What his spokesman said in response to me, they didn't deny he's a drug baron. He's a known drug baron. And my point is that if you get a drug baron as Nigeria's president, he's going to be vulnerable to foreign intelligence services. So they can blackmail him and they can make him to do things as Nigeria's president that will affect the rest of us. That's just my argument. You know, he is a known drug baron, even if he's 86. You know, he's a nephew-in-law. Timak Omashola has come and said he's 86. Yeah, even if he's 86. Look, Mahathir Mohamed was prime minister of Malaysia at the age of 95. So if he's old and he can deliver, that's okay. The main issue is that he's a drug baron. And we can't have a drug baron as our president. That's my issue. Thank you for watching and God bless you.